What's going on boys and girls? Don't worry, I see your comments. As you know, my last video was on shield, specifically the Ash of War known as Barricade Shield. And one of you in the comments let me know something very interesting about dual wielding shields. Before I get into that though, I do want to say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. The support recently has been unreal and I want to just let you all know that I really do appreciate it. I usually do read all comments or at least try to on every single one of my videos. So all of you who've just left, you know, supportive comments, thank you so much. And if you just watched my videos at all, thank you. I know 10k is not like an extremely big deal, but you know, this is something I've always wanted to do and now I'm finally getting around to doing it. The start of 2022 is looking good, so hopefully that uh, trend continues. Now going back to the topic of the video, if you didn't know, in Elden Ring they added a new feature with shields known as Guard Counter. A Guard Counter is a counter attack that you can perform by pressing R2 when someone strikes your shield. I already knew that feature was in the game. What I didn't know is that it works with dual wield shields. Now normally when you hit someone with a shield, it's like hitting someone with a wet pool noodle. But when you do a guard counter with the shield, it's like slapping someone in the face with a flashbang. And by that I mean it stuns them. Playing with dual wield shields is actually an extremely fun way to play the game. If you're one of those people who are disappointed that Elden Ring has, you know, the basic Dark Souls combat and not something like Sekiro, I would definitely recommend trying out dual wield shields because it is quite fun and it's definitely different. It's definitely the closest thing to Sekiro gameplay you will get in Elden Ring. Today I'm going to be testing this out on a bunch of enemies and bosses to see you know what it works on and what it doesn't work on. I'm really hoping this works on a lot of enemies because I want to make a dual wield shield build so bad. Anyways if you are new to this channel and you enjoy this video at any time please do consider subscribing because majority of the people who watch my videos are in fact not subscribed and you know if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe. With all that being said let's go slap some people with shields all right so i'm on a brand new character i already have one shield there's only a couple of things i need to grab so let's go ahead and get those what's good Vare? okay 200 won't be that hard Alright, we have enough. Okay, so in order to make this build even better, I'm gonna go ahead and get Barricade Shield. So, you know, I won't lose much stamina when I get hit. These sentient anal beats have to be one of the weirdest enemies from Soft has ever made. What are you gonna do this time? Oh, Tornado Man. Let's go. So I've gone ahead and did a little bit of farming. I got the Reduvia dagger at plus three because we are going to need a weapon to switch to for critical damage. As you can see, I also did level up a little bit. I went to level 55 just to make things easier for me. I honestly don't care if people start saying, you know, guard counter is only good because I leveled up. Anyways, let's go see what this works on. What's good, Vare? I got a new trick for you. Oh, do you even comprehend? Very well. If you mistake kindness for frailty of heart, damn, what is he doing, bro? 
A more physical lesson is in order. Okay, maybe it doesn't work on uh on people. This man is quite literally the R1 button. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Yeah, so it looks like it doesn't work on NPCs, which probably means it doesn't work in PvP either. Whatever, Vare, you win this time. I'm out of here. Yo, chill out, bro. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. You know what? Fine. You want to come fight the horse guy with me? Come on. Oh my Rest in peace, Vare. Can you hit me, loser? Like, damn. I take back everything I said. It does work on Horse Guy, no way. Okay, yeah. I think I could say for sure it works on Tree Sentinel. It's kind of useless on Tree Sentinel because you can't even do a crit attack, though. So, I mean, it's whatever on him, I guess. What's good, Ratatouille? Okay, it works. Two hits, I think. Damn. I feel so bad. Dude really died to a dual wield shield build. Then we got his tears. I'm like almost positive it doesn't work on trolls, but I'll try. Like, you can't even hit him. Oh, wait. Maybe. Oh, uh, it doesn't activate the crit attack, though. That's not really a guard break. What's good, little man? You want some? Too bad. Goddamn cuck. God. Jesus Christ. These little shits jumped my ass. Yes, it works. Goodbye. Oh shit, he survived. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You son of a bitch. How dare you. You want some too? Oh shit. They jump in my ass. Don't you ever fuck with a man in his shields. Maybe Margit will like me now that I have another shield. What's good, Margit? I brought another shield. Okay, it works on Margit. It's like Sekiro, but extremely slow, or at least much slower. I'm really hoping you could do this with every boss, because I really want to play through the game like this. This is kind of fun.
one more. Let's go! That was without any blue too. I had no barricade shield. It makes the boss fights longer, but that shit was fun. I ain't gonna cap. Some Sekiro shit, except with shields. Shit. We chillin', we chillin'. Yo, dual wielding shields is extremely fun, bruh. Let's go! Oh, if you like Sekiro, you could try out dual wielding shields. It's as close as you're gonna get to it. I'm really hoping this works on majority of the bosses in the full game because this... Now this is fun. Overall, I think this is definitely one of the most fun ways to play in Elden Ring. I'm really glad people told me about this because I'm definitely doing a run where I just do this the entire game. I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that Elden Ring had similar combat to Dark Souls, but if you really do want to change things up and have more fun, definitely look into dual wielding shields because this is awesome. Anyways, I highly recommend trying this out, maybe not on your first playthrough, but you know, second or third. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.